Friday is opening day for the Sarasota County Fair. To a lot of people, the fair means thrilling rides, exciting shows, and of course that fair food. But in the spotlight tonight, ABC 7's Linda Carson introduces us to some students and animals for whom the fair means showtime. Linda. The Sarasota County Fair is actually called the Agricultural Fair, and to a lot of local students, that's still the focus. 4-H clubbers and FFA members have spent the last year getting ready to compete in everything from public speaking to canning to raising livestock. We visited one group who are getting ready to show their llamas. The 4-H'ers and their llamas are preparing for their appearance at the fair on Sunday. The competition will be fierce. There's like multiple classes that we're going to show in. Like there's showmanship where it's like all about how we take care of our llamas. There's halter, which is like all about our llamas and how they perform. There's obstacles, which is like we have to go through an obstacle course. Judges will watch their every move. They judge showmanship, was it, which is judged on the youth and how well they show their animal. They have to square them up. They have to keep them calm. They have to show the best of the llama to the judge. She wants to see that they're proud of their llama, they've groomed them well, and they know how to handle them. It's a little scary. I'm most worried about the backup, so we have to go in a like little pen, back our llamas out, or back our llamas in, and then come out. So yeah, she doesn't really like to back out or back in. But these llamas are really smart. <laughs> Probably a lot smarter than we are, <laughs> because they can understand what we're saying. Um, they know what we want them to do if they see it. They're just kind of like humans with their brain capacity. They remember everything. Ryan Swartz and his llama won the showmanship award last year. The kids spend a lot of time with the llamas. Sundays we come out and work with all the llamas and train them and, and uh, brush them and walk them. And take them on outings. We take her to nursing homes and sometimes out to parks. Like we went to the celery fields and uh, the Fruitville Library. Ashley Hebron and her llama have a close bond. She'll follow me wherever wherever I go. She'll do mostly what I ask, and we just love each other. She says training a llama has taught her a lot. When I first got her, she didn't want to do anything, so just working with her a lot just made me learn patience with her. They're just like big dogs, and they're very unique and special in their own way, and they, and they, they have a lot of character and personality. And the llamas also have beautiful fur. It's actually called fiber. It can be sheared or cut and woven into clothing and other products. Catherine Wilbanks donates the fiber from those llamas to, made in, to be made into items for nursing homes.